my Philippines, my boy universe. Hello, everyone. How are you doing so for today? I'm going to do like three unboxing. First, we're gonna unbox this one because uh, this was given to me by my friend. He loves. His name is Raisin. Um, his um, IG is Icebox One Two Three. So he loves Korean. Um, Korean teledrama, Korean food, Korean um, munchkins. So this is a get ready to have your K munchkins. Correct taste, but delighted. So this is Korean stuff inside. So I already opened it. So, so here guys, there's a lot of food inside. So this is the list, I believe. Yogurt. There's a yogurt jelly straws here. How oh, exciting! So I'm gonna put this in the fridge and try it. These are 20 calories. This is nice because there are nutritional facts inside. There. So that's it. And then the second is the ABC mini jelly straw. Oh, there are here. Mm -hmm. So. The straw and the yogurt jelly, the je yogurt jelly straws and the ABC mini jelly straws. So here, so there are a lot. So here are the yogurt jelly straws and the other side is the ABC mini jelly straws. There, love it. And then I have the Choco Heim. Where's the choco hide? Where's the choco hide? Oh, here. It's like a churros. I want to try this. This is the choco hide. It's 170, 170 calories. Let's try this. I hope it's good. Oh my god, it smells delicious. Mmm, I love it. It tastes like churros and it's so crispy. Thank you. A mini bite like churros. Mmm, this is so good. Thanks, Ray, for this. Yummy. Ooh. I can get enough. Mm -hmm. Let's move on. So the next is the Kukwe they are saying. I don't know how to pronounce. There, I'm gonna research, okay? And what does it mean? It's a C O U, C O U. I'm um, here. How do you pronounce this? Oh, it's a bread. Sell also in uh, Amazon though. So how do you pronounce this? Let me check. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Let me eat and get a churro. Choco honey is the best. Oh, it's a crown for the It's a Korean cookie. So it's a Korean cookie. Whatever they pronounce it, this one. 
Okay. Where is that? From oh, here. But there's only few. It's not a box. It's already deducted. And it's and it's scratched. Let us try. This is the Vienna coffee. Here. It's good. It's really good. I love this. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh mm. Yum. And there are lychee. Lychee here is the lychee. That's it. And then we'll move further. This was not included on the list, but I'm just gonna show you. This is the Nori Maki Arare rice cracker with seaweeds. But this is kind of Japanese. This is made in California. Product of Thailand. Weird. I thought this is all Korean. But anyway, it's still Asian. It's made from the Nori Maki Arare Array Array or Arare rice cracker with seaweed. This is very Japanese though. But it says here it's product of Thailand and made in distributed in Santa Fe Springs, California. So let's try. Oh I'm trying this. This is very Japanese. I've eaten this a lot in Japan when I went to Japan um, six years ago. There you go. And then they have what do you call this? This is in Korean. This is both in Korean. It doesn't say it's Los Angeles product of Korea. It's like a spicy cracker that will go to the Sige. This is a wheat cracker original flavor. So they're artificial chicken flavor. This is made also in Santa Fe, Asian food, but product of Taiwan. So this is an Asian box, not, you know, not really a Korean. Um, or everything is not Korean. So next is this original chips. I think this is a potato chips. Yeah, it's a potato chips. This is more like Japan. Yeah, this is. It doesn't says here because it's written in Japan, in Japanese, I believe, or Korean perhaps. Uh, it's Korean because the letters I believe Korean or Japanese. So crackers, and then lastly. I have the bulldog hot chicken flavored ramen hot cheese samyang it's a samyang look at it and then it's imported uh, manufactured samyang in Seoul Korea made in Korea so yeah you can try this but I believe this is a little bit spicy hot chicken flavor so there you go guys let me eat the last one Never mind. So there you go. I love it. And lastly, I want to show you. Okay. I got something from the mail. He is my crush. He is a YouTuber though. He is the. Um, I like him. Uh huh. He's a YouTuber. I like him. His name is, where is it? His name is, I'm gonna show you first. He's an actor, a YouTuber. Are you excited to see who's my crush? Nowadays, lately I'm a crush with, this is his mugshot, where, mugshot from the prison, okay? It's Jeff Wittick. So handsome, yeah? 
So there you go. He is. Let me read you. Jeff Wittick is an act, American actor, YouTuber, hair stylist. Oh yeah, he has a YouTube, uh, YouTube uh, channel. His name is Jeff Wittick. Uh, he has a barber shop. He, he oh no, he had recently accidented. I think last year accident. He had an accident. He's also a comedian. He initially gained popularity in the short form video platform Vine before creating his own YouTube channel in 2011. He eventually joined David Dobrik's Vlog Squad in 2018. So and that, that's it. So yeah, this is my crush. The love of my life, child. Look at him, he's so handsome, yeah? So that's Jeff Whitney. So uh, I watched his, uh, um, what do you call this, uh, story in YouTube and I just, I just love him. I just like him. So here, here is his mansion. So I already, when I want to have like a choco coffee in the morning, so I already have, and I'll see his face. So handsome guy. All right, I think that's it. So basically, yeah, this is not uh, purely Korean. It's Asian. There's from Taiwan. There's from Japan. But the best. So far, this is the best. I hope they have this in Amazon. I'll order a lot. Oh, that good. Hmm. Yummy. Bye.